Hunwald, this is quite a surprise. Welcome. Yes, I surprised myself for what it's worth. If I cannot be Elderman, I can at least honor my father by acting as one. My lord has sent you the best archers in Lincolnshire, and I am here to lead them. Good. We will rain death upon our enemies today. Good work, Honwald. Be ready. I appreciate your efforts to spare the innocent, Eivor. At least we saved some lives here. One day Saxon and Dane, Norse and Briton, will live as brothers and sisters as they do in London. I only wish the path to peace were not paved with so many skulls. We cannot choose the way the world is. Our only choice is how to face it. Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. I cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. We took this camp together, so I'll ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. Beerston, I'm glad to see you again. How's your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elorich, he has not returned. I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope, when hope is all we have. I am sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I'll make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? Have to hurry. We have chance before begging if they all sail out of here before I can cuddle the snow bear. So my Yalskona. You seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Vili, you stiff old arstic. How are you? Careful, Eivor. Don't make me thrash your hide as I did when we were children. As I recall, it was you who always finished snot-faced and teary hide Well, it will be Saxons weeping today, after me and my berserkers get hold of them. Do that, and you and I will raise a horn together. I look forward to it. Now, let us find your brother. Uber, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. It may be that one day our paws lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Bishop Deolov, strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, day or love. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you are welcome here, friend. and so few scores, Basim. What's your secret? I don't get hit. Aha! The simplest oh. strategies are the best. Oh, my Alskona. It seems we have won. A great victory. Not even these walls could stand against us. This land will be ours in time. 
What now for you? Uba and I will go west, driving the Saxons before us. Alfred will not hold a crown much longer. I hope one day to see you both there. I would like that. There's one more thing. What are you doing still talking to me? Enough goodbyes. Go to Sigurd. Yes. Be well, Uba. <laughs> we could not have taken this fort without your archers, Hunwalde. My thanks. Oh, it was nothing, you know. All in a day's work. I may need call on them again one day. Ah, was this not the only... Right. Because I was hoping... Well, never mind. Beerston, your ram was invaluable in breaching this fortress. A trifle in comparison to the great service you have rendered me. You will have a good story to tell Alvida upon your return. There is that. But battle is not so thrilling and glamorous as the stories tell. I shall have to spruce it up a little. <laughs> you look pleased with yourself. Smell that air. Smells like victory. Smells like blood and brains and the soiled underclothes of dead men. Aye. Isn't that what victory smells like? Perhaps to you, our stick. I'll take roasting meat, warm meat, and a fire. Ah, you always were soft. Get on with you. <laughs> How did you like the taste of battle? That was... exhilarating. <laughs> Reminds me of my younger days. Had you not delayed those reinforcements, we might never have succeeded. You are brave for a priest. Do not underestimate the faithful. We give our lives to a god we cannot see or touch. There is no greater bravery than that. 